Andrew, assemble the Set It Up crew. Morgan, turn on the Set It Up signal. Calling all Set It Up members. Report to base. The show is about to begin. I repeat. Report to base. The show is about to begin. Hello and welcome to the 2013-2014 season of Set It Up. I'm Julia. And I'm Pinky. Here for the first episode of Set It Up, we decided to make pieces that will help you to get to know the crew better. The first piece that we're showing is mine. Um, I made it on my family and I asked my family members what family meant to them. So uh, yeah, let's roll that clip. Enjoy the show. If I had to use only one word to describe my family, I couldn't do it. Uh, if I have to describe this family in one word, probably it would be caring. Uh, we have a lot of fun together. We listen to music. Uh, this family has a good sense of humor. We are fun loving. We love to play together with each other. We're very loyal to each other. We're all very loyal to each other. We're all faithful to each other. We uh, work together well. The one word I would use to describe my family is super cool. And it's one word, it doesn't have any dashes in it. I would say talkative. I think of our family as being close. I think we're close together, close knit. Loud, <laughs> but a good loud. And the nice thing about family is that you have these people around you who you can always connect with. Well, sometimes people will come in, like visitors, and they'll just be like, who are these people? What's going on? Don't want no woman joy. Um, we support each other and provide comfort to each other, and we um, sort of find ways to boost each other. The way we talk isn't really like other people. It's just sort of like, sort of like, a stand-up comedy routine all the time. Most important thing about family is that you're stuck with them. You can't leave them, they can't leave you. So you just gotta deal with it. Julia. Thanks. Coming up next is drum rolls me, Pinky Lord, the cute lady. And remember it, hit it.
<clears throat> yes, this is me. And of course, this video is going to be about me. And of course, indeed, I am the cutie, the beauty. However, that's not all. I can get annoyed, but cute, angry, but cute still, or sad, but cute still, and bad. Anyways, I'm still cute. And yes, I'm the bomb. Thank you. That was really cute, Pinky. I know. Yeah, really, really cute. All right. Up next, we have videos from Kyle, Tang, and Max. All right. Play it. And that is how you start the day. Place where youth develop. Place where you can inspire kids. Fun place for kids to go after school. We want to empower youth. 
a productive environment where the kids can learn things. Institution that allows kids to be kids. Three words. Positive. Fun. Energetic. There's programs for every age group. Our STARS program, which is kindergarten through second grade. Smart girls. Keystone is for our older teens. Leadership programs for the younger kids, which is Torch Club. Basketball. Simple as walking through the door and getting your membership form and turning in your five dollars um, for the year. Usually open um, until 9 p.m. in the evenings um, from 2.30 to 9.30 and then on non-school days from 9 to 5.30. Um, you can always check our website, uh, boysandgirlsclub.org. Through that you can give us a call, find your, the closest one to you and just give either the program director or branch director a call and that's about it. I knew something was up with my dad. He was acting different, and I had to ask what was going on the only way I knew how. Tell me what you know, Cat. I know you know. You're around them all the time. You're the only person who would know. Don't mess around, Cat. I mean business. Don't play cute with me. You can run, Cat, but you can't hide. Without my only witness, I was forced to take drastic measures. Hey, Dad. What's up? I got cancer. Oh. Okay. Dad ended up going to the Mayo Clinic for a few months. Mom sent me back to New Jersey to be with friends while Dad recovered. Within three months, we were all back together. My dad recovered fully and joined a support group to help other people with his condition. However, I began to pull away from my family after this. Anyway, case closed. Man, this is taking forever. I could really use a snack. Hey Max, you wanna watch some TV with me? Uh, no thanks, I'm just grabbing a snack. Okay, well, I mean, it seems like I never see you anymore. You're kind of always playing games. Uh, look, I'm just... I'm in the middle of something right now. Well, you always seem to be in the middle of something. You can't keep putting off your family for games, Max. Max has made mistakes in his life. Max had to make things right by becoming a robot. Maxbot is perfect now. Maxbot has been purged of impurities that Max had, and now Maxbot is the best Max. Max needs no family. Max only needs himself. Maxbot requires assistance. Maxbot has made a mistake. Meh, I've played better games. It was really good. Yes, I really liked it. Coming up next is Sam and Ayantu. Click it. Hi, my name is Sam Muhammad. I'm 14 years old and live in St. Paul, Minnesota. I was born in Rochester, Minnesota, along with my two brothers and sister. In my family, there's my mom and dad. I have four brothers and two sisters. Their names are Muhammad, Abdul, Aisha, Ahmed, Suleiman, and Muna. My family is the second most important thing to me right after my religion. My religion is Islam and I am a Muslim. My religion is based on the Holy Quran, which is the words of Allah in whom I believe in. It is also based on the Prophet Muhammad and what he practiced, which is also Islam. Now let's focus a little bit about me. 
I'm a freshman at Como Park Senior High School. In my free time, I like to hang out with friends and do sports. Here are a few of my friends. With these people, I do some of the craziest things. I have known most of them for about two to three years. But Jonathan and Matthew, I have known them since the start of preschool. Jonathan and Matthew have both taught me a lot of things, and I'm thankful that I have them as friends right now. Some other things I like to do are break dance, known as b-boy, play football, play soccer, and skateboard. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Goodbye. You are as dead as the stars you admire, dear. You were lovely once and lovely again. You looked for friends in cemeteries and found me there. I guess all goes to company. company. We found each other lying against dusted tombstones of people we've never even met. Creating a sea of whiskey we couldn't drown in. Found each other breathing indirect apologies with our ashtray lungs to people who were just as against cigarettes as they were falling in love, both of us. Having hearts that beat just a little too fast for our ribcage to handle. So we repair the glass panel broken bones with Velcro dots and duct tape without even caring to think that maybe it'd be a little bit smarter to use something with a bit more adhesive because tears never did fix anything. I used to call you Bob the Builder behind your back because you were able to fix anything, or so you claimed. Also claimed that you could handle anything. So I decided to give you the benefit of the doubt and let you hold my trembling saltwater palms before your short fingertips. But the only thing that ever started was a tidal wave of self-regret. We were stupid to think that this was anything more than a rebound romance. To think that just because we both loved anime, hated tomatoes and more poetry, that our heartstrings were meant to be tied together and said they were noosed around pencils and late night discussions in my neck. Baby, you kissed like you already came. And that was enough to make me want to pin your last name to my own, but, but somewhere in between getting lost in the state fair and then crying on the 3B back home while a dude offered me a crumpled of Martha's cookie neck, and I'd realize you'd have given up. Realizing that the tears weren't even for the fact that I got set up for the second time and I rode by you in the fifth time in my life, more so for the fact of my own stupidity. One time, you asked me what my favorite game to play was. And I told you hopscotch, but only ever over your heart. And you laughed like teardrops playing backwards on a DJ's turntable. On a DJ's turntable, you said Monopoly was your favorite because you always liked buying different properties that everybody wanted but couldn't afford. So it was a lot like females' hearts, and I always did look past that. I wish I could tell you that, but if you're not going to stay, give me something to write about, like broken, broken hearts, fingertips that miss the touch of the back of your knuckles, and, and boys who don't, don't keep on. Poets never sleep. So I guess that's why you talk to me with your eyes closed like some brokenhearted insomniac. Your Ouija board irises held stories about forgotten spirits whispering about how everyone is a ghost now. It's not fair. I want to be the haunter, not the haunter. And your breath, dear. Your breath was cherry vodka and I was able to get tipsy off of your kiss. With lips that stretched to reveal teeth like the fake pearls your mother used to wear on Friday night. Complaining to you about how she should have followed her mother's advice, not string her heart out to strange men whose lips can kiss love and multiple tongues, but tremble every time you ask them to spell so loyalty. loyalty. And it seems as though you've fallen under that category. You like wearing camouflage jackets that smell of thrift shops and secondhand sadness. Most days, I hope that the next tattoo you get its ink, plants flowers inside of your veins, so maybe you could become pretty on the inside too. Those are really great videos, don't you think? Yeah, those are really good. Yes. All right, so up next we have a piece by Kylie. So uh, hit it, DJ. Hey, my name is Kylie. I'm 14, living in a big city called St. Paul here in Minnesota. I'm a little freshman at Tartan Senior High School. In this, you will see what I am passionate about. Oh, great. Look who it is. Me as a child. I was born on February 15, 1999, here in Minnesota. From all the embarrassing and funny baby stories, I guess I was a very happy and cheerful kid, but had a tendency to slam doors. <laughs> this is my family and I. Taking pictures is like a tradition in this family, especially in the fall. I mean, hey, who doesn't love taking pictures? This here is my journal. I have a passion for writing. The reason why I love writing so much is because... That's a way I can express myself and who I am. I listen to a lot of different things, but mainly rock, punk, metal, rap, pop, and much more. Some bands that I really enjoy are Ask Alexandria, Avenged Sevenfold, Black Veil Brides, Escape the Fate, and Sleeping with Sirens. Well, this is everything about me, what I like to do, what things I'm interested in, and what I'm passionate about. 
and my family story. I hope you enjoyed watching. That was really good. Yes, it is. All right, now thank you for watching our first episode of Set It Up. And remember, watch Set It Up every Monday at 7 p.m. on Comcast Channel 16. Have a great night and a pleasant tomorrow. Thanks for watching our show. We will see you in the next episode.